welcome to vlog 35 the first one in 2023 we are psyched to be back so a bit of news since the last time we saw you on the vlog we've opened up a family photo studio in longton dealing in newborns and family photography i've had an awesome christmas loads and loads of shoots loads of previous brides and grooms which was really amazing um, we get to see them they brought the kids in which obviously some of them uh, are brand new we'd never met before so it was super nice to see a load of those again and a load of new faces from in and around longton and the, and the villages uh, so really really fun time there We've also booked a ton of newborns already for this year. Uh, quite a few, again, bride and grooms. Um, lovely that we get to kind of document the biggest day of their lives and then kind of stay as their photographers as their family grows. Really, really nice for us to see. Uh, so super stoked to get them in the studio. Right now we're in the middle of wedding booking season. So we've been to a few wedding fairs already this year and we've got maybe four or five left before April including the lake show with little white books and then the great northern wedding show uh, with little white books in bolton so if you're at either of those come and say hello technically we're not actually at great northern um, but we have our amazing previous clients uh, connie and then sam and adam which are going to do an awesome job for us go and talk to the bride and grooms on our behalf because we've got weddings on that sunday unfortunately but if you are at great northern go and see them tell them how amazing they are um, and, and just let them know that they're doing an awesome job. Today, we are back for our first wedding of 2023 and we are so stoked to be back doing what we absolutely love. So we started off the year with Cat and Mike at Bartle Hall. so good to be back at weddings can't tell you how much we've missed them in the short space that we've not been going to them awesome to be back at bartle hall as well absolutely love this place one of our favorite venues uh, is very close to us as well so it's super easy to get to this is the girls after they've transferred over to the main house and then the lads were getting ready in uh, the, one of the bridal suites they've got it's in like a little cottage right next to the reception room it's like a little self-contained place with jacuzzi in the back Lads didn't get in the jacuzzi, obviously. And then this is what we love to see at weddings. This is what we've missed. So this is the bridesmaids walking in uh, and seeing Kat in the dress for the first time. So I've got Kat's reaction, then amazing reaction from the bridesmaid and then managed to just nip across and then start shooting the bridesmaids. That's Christina uh, there whose wedding we shot and the rest of the bridesmaids. Awesome reactions, awesome photographs, super happy. And then, of course, Dad coming into the room to see Kat. Uh, so we got it from Suze's angle there, and then I managed to get the close-ups of Dad looking beyond happy. The ceremony room in the main house at Bartle is gorgeous. Really nice, long aisle. Uh, so you've got bags of time to take photographs of the bride and bridesmaids as they come down. Um, then there's loads of room at the front, so you can flip either side of the registrar to get both the sides of the couple at the front, which is awesome. You can't always do that at every venue. This is us at the back, uh, Sue shooting wide that you just saw there, and then me getting closer crop. And then these guys had like a, a receiving line as everyone came out, so it's an awesome chance to get like loads of kind of candid photographs of everyone, like happy, smiling, um, giving them hugs, which is lovely. As much as I tell my couples not to pull a face, Kat managed to do it all the way down the confetti run. Um, she was absolutely hilarious on the day because the whole wedding was just really fun uh, to interact with so this is one of those fun parts. So the guys now are just eating the wedding breakfast, I've just wanted to speak to you guys but the morning has been absolutely phenomenal, really really good. The bridesmaids have been absolutely superb, super super welcoming straight away when we came in which just meant we could integrate really well. We'd actually met Kat and Mike at a previous wedding. So Chrissy and Sam's wedding in 21 at West Tower. Kat practically booked us on the day, like there and then, uh, which is my favorite kind of booking. When someone's seen us in action, they know how we were and they want to book us, it's amazing. So we kind of knew the vibes for this wedding were going to be good. We were kind of looking forward to it for our first one of the year. And my God, has it delivered so far. The people have been absolutely amazing. There's like a Southern contingent, there's a Scouse contingent. Everyone's full of banter, up for a laugh. It's It's been absolutely amazing so far. Formals went really well. Cat and Mike are just unbelievably chilled. So it's just been a super, super easy day so far and really nice. So 
did it again where I don't record what happens. You, know, you get too excited. I do. It was the first wedding, <laughs> wedding back and everyone was really lovely and there was someone there we knew. It was literally like somebody wound Ian up and just let him go. It's all this pent up kind of... It was. He's not done weddings for ages and then he got to talk to all these new people. It was very fun. It was really Very good. fun. It was such a good wedding. Um, but yeah, so here are some photos of, of what happened. So today is Monday and we decided as a married couple that we weren't having quite as many arguments as we're supposed to. So we've come to Ikea, which is the place everybody comes to have a, a proper argument. But I've got the tape measure, so I'm in charge. So we're actually in for some blinds for the studio, but Sue's just cut out, just... We could have it as a background. Um, but yeah, but she's already picked up a Calax that we weren't supposed to buy. Um, so that's one thing. And then no doubt we'll have a thousand other things that we weren't meant to buy, but it's Ikea and it's kind of what you do. You've got to love Ikea when they really cater for a particular demographic. Check it out. We've got like a little photography section complete with our prices. I'm not sure I'd want to put six grand's worth of lenses on a little shelf top. Probably not. But these are the danger pieces. I don't mind when Sue's goes for like the six quid pieces, but when she starts looking at furniture for a few hundred quid. Half of the fun is trying to keep her reined in and not spending anything. <laughs> She's got a washing up brush. I've, I've lied, it's a quid. It's a quid. It's all right. We have blinds. We're now on towels for newborn shoots in the studio. But we have the blinds. Putting them up is another matter, but we have the blinds, but the basket total is slowly just creeping up bit by bit. I don't like buying the expenses. <laughs> so we are done. Our total came to £202, which I think we've done quite well, quite restrained. That is quite restrained, I managed to get a nice few tray as well, though. Not on the business. <laughs> 